Clearly, we have to respond to this latest series of attacks. Clearly. Absolutely. And make no mistake, gentlemen, the Prime Minister is determined to take action. He wants to ramp this thing up. Understood. Okay. The time for talk is over. Good. What's the alternative? A clear call for dialogue. All right, I'll be first. Uh, what's the difference? Hmm? The difference between talk and dialogue. Oh, OK, I'm with you. Warren? Well, talk is a unilateral declaration of a position, whereas dialogue is a two-way exchange of views leading, hopefully, to mutual understanding. All right, can't we just call the ambassador in and get Whoa. this? That sort of action could be seen as very inflammatory. What were you suggesting? If it's going to be dialogue, then the obvious forum is the AIHRD. Yep, that's the forum. Right up there, Ali. Me again. The... Australian-Indonesian Human Rights Dialogue. It's a bilateral forum between the two countries designed to handle exactly this sort of crisis. I mean, they don't get a lot of press, but when it comes to hammering out these sorts of issues, they are a very formidable organisation. Right. And what would they do? Have dialogue. Right. But then what? Sorry, Nick, I'm not sure I'm with you. Do they actually achieve anything, Phil? Well, at their last meeting, there were six separate human rights discussion points agended. Four went on to be tabled, three of which are the subject of ongoing bilateral exchange, one resulting in an official communique. And have you read that in the press? 